A landmark court case is underway today which challenges the validity of patenting genes. Law firm Morris Blackburn is launching legal action against four biotech companies, focusing on a gene mutation associated with an increased risk of breast and ovarian cancer. Court reporter Carl Herr is at the federal court in Sydney. Well, Rolls, on the one hand, uh, this case involves a US company, uh, Myriad Genetics, and uh, a Melbourne-based company, also Genetic Technologies, and it centres around uh, a patent for mutations of a gene. And uh, that, those mutations have been associated with uh, genetic forms of the diseases of breast cancer uh, and ovarian cancer. Now, uh, a, a couple of people, uh, one group, Cancer Voices Australia and a, ca a breast cancer sufferer, uh, Yvonne Darcy, have taken this case to the federal court. They argue that these are things that uh, patents should not exist over and that it has the potential to increase the cost of treatment uh, and also restrict access to research for this particular mutation. And Carl, who is the court due to hear from? Well, Roz, the court is due to hear from a number of experts over the coming days. And uh, the experts for the, the applicants in this case, Cancer Voices Australia and others, will argue that uh, th th this is something that a patent shouldn't exist over, that, that uh, the, the law shouldn't allow for this sort of, uh, 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 sort of patent because there is a risk that it will uh, restrict access in the future and that this is something that uh, people, particularly cancer, cancer sufferers, information that uh, all people should have access to in order to uh, develop the best possible and most cost effective treatments. What are the implications of the outcome of this case, whatever the result? Well, Ros, the applicants say that this is an Australian first. It's very much uh, being seen as a test case. There has been a, a case in the United States back uh, around the time when this case was launched in 2010 uh, and that case was successful for the applicants and, uh, and uh, Myriad uh, Genetics actually lost that case so uh, whether that has any particular implications about this case it's unclear at the moment but certainly uh, as far as Australia is concerned it, it is an Australia first and it could uh, it is argued have implications for uh, uh, patents over other genes in other fields of research as well. Carl, thank you. Thank you.